Hey traders, as a Global Prime client, you now have the ability to trade through TradingView. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how you can get easily set up. It's a very straightforward process. So without further ado, let me walk you through the different steps that you have to follow as a client of Global Prime. First of all, you want to be selecting trading panel. Now, by default, Global Prime is not going to be, the logo is not going to be showing. So you want to be clicking on the bottom right hand side show all available brokerage firms and gold prime as the top and highest rated brokerage firm in trading view is going to be coming up here at the very top so just select connect now here you're going to be filling out your uh, the different uh, spaces uh, empty spaces initially with your login details once you do so mines have already been filled out automatically and uh, so you click on connect and uh, within five to ten seconds real quick that's gonna that's how long it's gonna take you're gonna be landing on your individual global prime account once you have full visibility on your account through this last tab here global prime notice here that this is one of my uh, simulation accounts i got 51 dollars this is a live account the next step is to find the instrument that you're interested in trading let's just say that we want to be trading the australian dollar against the us dollar in the uh, forex domain so we're going to be selecting Aussie US dollar. By the way, a quick tip is you want to be ticking this box, Gold Prime. Otherwise, you're gonna get the selection on this instrument in all different assets. So, for instance, notice here that if I don't select Gold Prime, I'm gonna get the Aussie US dollar in a bunch of different brokerages. So, you only want to be concentrating and uh, narrowing that down to Global Prime products. So, once you've selected the product Aussie US dollar what is left is for you to place a trade now in order to place trades in trading view it is a very you know straightforward seamless process that all it takes is just come all the way down to this right column and select order panel and in order panel you will notice that you have a series of numbers informations and categories such as entering an order through a market type entry limit entry stop or stop limit let's just say that we want to enter 0.01 lot on a market order here you got the option of selecting take profit and stop loss so now the Aussie US dollar sits around 0.7340 so let's just pretend that we want to be long at market with a take profit of 0.7380 and that right here you can see that that is going to be a potential uh, a potential profit of 5.38 australian dollars okay now stop loss we are going to now adjust our stop loss let's just say that we want to place it at 0 0.7320 so that would be a 5.35 percent versus 10.61 so right here you can get you know easily the visuals of how much you're going to be risking and the potential reward and that comes around you know ballpark number about two to one risk reward now you're going to get also the information in terms of the leverage of your account the trade value and so forth and what is left as a final step is placing the order so let's just click on buy the order of market uh, entering at market would be completed you will get a notification on the left side of your chart and that's about it now your position will show on this lower panel in positions now you notice that you've got an extra two orders that have been linked to that market order and that is one that includes the stop order that's where your stop loss where you have decided that your trade is going to be invalidated and the other is a sell limit which represents your take profit target okay hopefully this video has been useful and uh, i'll see you in the next one Cheers.